So basically in today's tutorial we are going to connect the Django with MongoDB and I will uh, illustrate uh, all the process how you can uh, create a MongoDB database and how you can connect that MongoDB database with your Django application. So let's get started with today's tutorial. The first thing we need to do we can open our code editor and then we need to type the command pip install Django so this would install the Django on our local machine and with this command we can uh, create a Django project as well as a Django app on our machine then uh, then I would like to tell you that uh, till the time this is being installed on my machine what you can do yeah here you can see that it is installing Django on my machine and you can install Django with the simple command pip install Django and then we have a MongoDB plus I will show you how the we can go here you can refer to this website uh, first this is the uh, website for Django I have already told you how you can install Django then this is the website from here you can install the MongoDB community edition and this works as a interface with you uh, uh, with the MongoDB database as a user interface uh, very similar to phpMyAdmin uh, uh, which is used for SQL then this is the uh, package we are going to use this package has a very similar name Django the word Django is derived from uh, like uh, uh, this is used to connect Django with MongoDB uh, so Django is the package we are going to use so let's get back to our code editor so first what you can do you can connect your to the uh, connect to the local host server using this MongoDB com uh, compass community edition and you can click on the connect button then this would connect to the local host now here you can see that it has been connected to the local host now what you can do you can create your own database so let's click on here uh, so first okay, let's continue with the installation part so after installing uh, after installing Django you can install pip install Django so this is the command we are going to use to connect with the package this is the package we are going to use to connect Django with the MongoDB database so it's very easy so uh, till the time it's being installed yeah it's a very easy process and next what we can do then we can create a Django project and then we would uh, I will show you how you can make a migration in your app then how the how we, and you can change see the changes reflected in the MongoDB database so let's what we what we can do uh, next uh, what I have so then we have to make some uh, changes in your settings.py file I'll also come to that then you can uh, see the changes on the MongoDB com uh, compass so that's very easy so let's create our Django project so I'll type Django admin start project a demo project so I'll, I'll create a project then what you can do you can open a folder and I've created this project on my desktop so here I can open it so now the project is open on my VS code so next thing you can do you will I'll navigate you to the uh, settings.py file so you can press ctrl.p and settings.py file so this would uh, simply uh, direct you to the settings.py file and here you can see that there is a section for databases so we would be doing this and I will open my terminal as well so we would be connecting this uh, so what we can do uh, first since we have installed Django now what we can do first uh, we'll create a database I will show you like from here you can disconnect and connect so I'll show you again here you first you disconnect then you can click on connect so this would connect you to the localhost database and now click on create database and type demo database demo database and you can give a collection name a demo collection so I would click on create database so here you can uh, just copy uh, you can uh, keep this as a referral demo database so and demo collection so I'll click on create database so here you can see a database has been created and which is uh, having a just a demo collection right now but what we can do uh, we uh, will connect to the, our, uh, our project and then run the app so I'll sorry run the migration so what you can do you can simply copy this 
and you can paste this code I'll comment this out databases so I'll put triple quotes here so this would basically comment this section triple quotes and now I would paste this uh, you can do one thing uh, you can remove this client part because you are right now dealing with the local host and by default it would detect this so uh, now you need to define your database name so I would define my database oh sorry so my database name is this this is my database demo database so I'll move to this here and I'll type demo data base okay so this looks perfect now uh, since I'm uh, my connection is on so I'll type a uh, Python manage dot py make migrations and this would make the migrations in my uh, database so so it says no changes detected so uh, now I can type python manage.py migrate so here you can see the, all the uh, migrations uh, are being applied so here you can see the migrations has been applied now I would move to my database and I'll click on the refresh button and here you can see and I click on the demo database perfect so I have got all the migrations of the Django here in my MongoDB database so <coughs> this looks perfectly fine so you can create your models and then run the previous two command that is migrate and migrations and then you are get to go with this uh, project running so thank you guys for watching this video so I'll catch up in the next tutorial so here you can see I have made the project uh, you can also do one thing uh, you can type python manage dot ui run server so this would run the app on your local machine so you can simply uh, copy this and you can uh, paste this on your browser and here you can see your Django project is perfectly running so everything looks perfect so this is how I made the settings in my database uh, this is the uh, MongoDB collections what I've got and uh, this the project is already running but now we are trying to implement CRUD operations the basically there are four CRUD operations that is create, read, update and delete and we are going to implement this using MongoDB so first thing you can do is you can open this MongoDB compass community edition and you can click on connect when you click on connect you can last in the last video I showed you how we created a demo database here then you can open the demo database and here you can see all the migrations the demo database has all the migrations we had done so you can refer to the previous tutorial how we connected MongoDB to Django it's very simple and it's very uh, quick enough so I can also give you a quick view uh, in settings.py file you need to uh, go into settings.py file and what you need to do here you need to make, uh, make sure that this database engine is Django and uh, uh, you have to install a demo uh, you have to make a demo database uh, and the name of that database is very much the same demo database and you have to install a package called Django so it can be easy, easily installed by the uh, by uh, typing the command pip install Django uh, for a uh, what uh, for any like if you want to see it as a demo purpose you can refer to the previous video uh, now what we are going to implement the CRUD operations so we will go step by step and we will see how we can uh, create a app and then how we can implement the uh, how we can implement the uh, uh, CRUD operation in that app so what you can do you can simply copy this or you can type uh, on your VS code python manage dot py start app demo app so this would uh, uh, start a demo app uh, inside your current project directory and now what you can do uh, in set uh, uh, till the time it's being created creating a demo app I can show you further commands uh, this is the one like uh, uh, I'll show you uh, we are going to implement a database model so this is how we uh, make a database model we will make then we will create a super user and this is a uh, administration I will show you that and uh, I'll simply show you so uh, okay so let's uh, get back to our tutorial see the demo app has been created you can see the folder here demo app and it has a file called models.py file 
since I have created a, an app demo app, I need to make sure add add this application here demo app. Okay. Now what you need to do, I have already connected to my database, and the next thing I am going to do, I'll move to models.py file, and I need to create a model here. So simply I'll create a model, and I'll make create a basic model. See this one. Uh, I'll copy this and paste it here. Uh, instead of this, I'll do class to do. Uh, and this is the this is instead of first name I'll type task, and instead of the second uh, last name I'll do this to description, description. So this is a description I'm going to have task is your models dot character and this is the description here. I can increase the description to hundred. Perfect. Uh yeah perfect. Now I have increased the description to hundred, and now what we can do. Uh, inside my admin.py file, I can register this, and for that, I know to what I need to do. I need to uh, first import models from dot models, import everything. So I from dot models import star, and here you can see that I have registered. I can register a model here, so I, I can copy this and paste it here. Uh, uh, yeah. So here you can see uh, I can uh, import that model and register it here as an admin. So I can implement the CRUD operations. So I'll simply type to do. So to do is the model which I have to register, and I will create a super user at the same time. Python manage dot py create super user. So this is the type of command I have to type to create the super user. So it will ask me to like a uh, uh, username. So here you can give a username as admin. You can leave this email address. Password you have to be give a very simple one, uh, and then again you can give a password. The make sure it's an easy one just for the demo purpose, and uh, you can continue that. And now, so this password it seems to be too common, but you type Y that is yes, and it will create the super user. Now, since I created the model database model, and I also registered that, so now what I will do, I will migrate this database Python. Manage, sorry, Python manage. dot py make migrations. And now what I'll do? So here you can see it shows that create model to do. Now I'll migrate this Python manage. dot py. Sorry, Python manage. dot py. Uh, migrate. Now I will migrate this database. So yeah, here you can see. So Uh, I have uh, made this, and now what I am going to do, I'll go to my demo database and I'll refresh this. Okay, so here you can see that I have got a demo app to do here. Here you can see demo app to do. Now uh, what I'll do, I'll run this app. Python manage dot py manage dot py run server. Okay, now the app will start at uh, start at the local host. So I'll move to my local host. So like we have created the model perfect, we have registered it as admin perfect, and now uh, okay, this seems to be something else. Sorry, uh, yeah. Now uh, I have created an app uh, which I told you that, and then we registered the app inside the installed apps directory as well. So we are going in the right direction. Now I'm at my local host. I'll refresh this. And you can see that I have the, my app successfully running. Now I will go to the admin slash admin. So simply we refer to the documentation for the quick illustration of this. And the, you need to uh, type in the username and password you had set. And what you need to do, then you can log in here. And here you can see I have to dos. So you can add a to do here. Simply we are going to implement the CRUD operation. So uh to do number 1 so uh, hello world i'll type simply type hello world anything you can give hello world and now i'll save this uh, let me i'll either i do save and add another or i can save this yeah so this has been saved and here you can see the object says yeah this is i have the object okay So I, I'm clicking on save again. Yeah, but now when I move to my database, I click on this demo app to do, and here 
you can see that you have this data in the JSON format. So perfectly fine. So here you can see that I have the data in the JSON format. Uh, since it, it's MongoDB, okay, uh, I'll quickly show you. Yeah, you can see this in the uh, uh, JSON format. So and this is the. Uh, you can also click on this button. So this would show you in the tabular form, and this will show you in the JSON form. So perfectly fine. So let's implement some few operations on that again. Now I click to the to do app project and I get to do number one edited. So I click save. So this has been edited. So when I move to my database, I'll click on refresh. I'll click here refresh button. Yeah, now it says to do number one edited. Now simply I can add another view. So to do number two. Number two, and I'll give the same description. Yeah, and then I can move to my database, refresh, I'll get another one, and now I can delete one. So that's makes the last uh, purpose of our project. I'll delete this. Yes, I'm sure I'll delete this, and I'm, when I move to my database, I found it deleted. So that's perfectly found how we implement the credit operations. So thank you guys, thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial. So this was the quick purpose. You can simply create a to-do app and with the database,